What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and yesterday, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi came out in a press briefing and announced that gas stimulus checks, direct payments to people, is currently on the negotiating table and being considered as helping people out during this time of high gas prices. And this is your stimulus package, stimulus check update, and breaking news update. Now, don't take my word for it, take a look at it for yourself. Would you support the idea of something like gas checks, rebates, vouchers, yeah. To Americans. So you took it to the right place. How do we help people directly? Pro if you're going to have to pay for it and you don't want it to come out of the trust fund, one, something could be a rebate card or a direct payment, and those are the things that are being considered. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the full clip so that way you can hear the entire thing right from Nancy Pelosi as she's saying, we need gas stimulus checks. And take a look at the articles coming out like this, you guys. Pelosi rejects gas tax holiday. Pelosi dismisses gas tax hiatus, says that consumers won't benefit from getting rid of the federal gas tax. Democrats eye action on leasing reform, gas rebates, or gas stimulus checks. As you heard, she's saying this is pretty much going to be the only way to ensure that consumers will benefit from this legislation. As she said, oil prices, you're going to hear her say, are going to be going up. They went down, but gas prices stayed the same, and we cannot ensure that gas companies are going to be driving prices and so they said the only way to make sure that people benefit from le legislation to help with gas is going to be sending out direct payments so I'm going to be sharing with you the clip you guys and this is coming after yesterday we had heard that the Biden administration is going to be releasing 1 million barrels of oil daily from US reserves to try to bring those prices down and we've already been hearing a lot about gas stimulus checks as stimulus checks to help combat inflation well federal and state help may be on the way and I've let you know that for Four proposals and bills have been released on a federal level in Congress to provide gas stimulus checks and we also have about roughly 14 states that have either approved or have proposed sending out state gas stimulus checks as well so a lot going on I'm gonna be sharing with you the video footage getting you caught up on the details we're gonna dive right in but before we do if you could do me a quick favor it just takes a second if you appreciate the updates don't forget Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps out my channel a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments. Share this out if you think it's going to help out other people. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date on everything going on, totally free, come join the Ram Fam. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay notified as new updates roll out. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. And consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth, personal finance. If you're interested in starting a business, investing in real estate, stocks, cryptos, check out that channel. More content coming this month, the month of April. Today is April 1st. I don't got any gags or April Fool's jokes for you guys, but <laughs> I've got the latest news. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And let's start off with some video footage of Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi on gas stimulus checks. <laughs> yeah, okay. You laid out some solutions that would have a long-term impact to bring gas prices mm -hmm. down, but in terms of immediate relief for Americans yeah. in the short term, would you support the idea of something like gas checks, rebates, vouchers yeah. to Americans? And in that same vein, do you have concerns that if that were to happen, that would cause inflation to go even higher? Well, let's just say, uh, first of all, uh, the, the main uh, the main question had been, do you support a gas holiday, tax holiday? And that is immediate, and it, it has appeal. People understand it. There's going to be a reduction in the gas tax. That's the pro. The con is that the oil companies do not necessarily pass that on to the consumer. They haven't. In the past, and the and so we're losing the money in the highway trust fund because we've just taken that out. It goes to the oil companies. You cannot write a law. You cannot write a law that requires them to pass it on. That's just the way it is. I, I we've tried every which way. You, you can have moral suasion, you could encourage, you can incentivize. You cannot 
require it. So, so okay, so we have a situation where there's money coming out of the Highway Trust Fund. It's going to the oil companies. They're, they may not give it to the consumer. And it has to be paid for. So we're paying for something to give a break to the oil companies that isn't even going to the consumer. So that's the con. The pro is very showbiz. Okay, let's just do something. There it is. But it is not necessarily landing in the pocket of the consumer. It's taken out of the trust fund. We have to pay for that to return it. So that takes us to something else. How do you do that? Do you do it with a, um, um, a tax on production? Or, you know, do, do you have the consumers uh, pay for that? Uh, that is... Uh, so people are saying, well, how do we put the tax at the doorstep of the, of the tax industry? Mm -hmm. So you took it to the right place. How do we help people directly? Pro if you're going to have to pay for it and you don't want it to come out of the trust fund, one, something could be a rebate card or a direct payment, and those are the things that are being considered. But some of the things that looked appealing in the beginning to some, if, if this were my caucus, one half the room would say, let's go with that, and the other half would say, well, wait a minute, it's not going, did you know, it's not going to the consumer. So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And just a quick recap, link in the description below to this article if you'd like to read it for yourself as Pelosi rejects gas tax holiday. And the article very quickly says that Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi on Thursday yesterday poured cold water on the idea of suspending the federal gas tax as a way to reduce costs of higher gas prices for consumers. And Pelosi acknowledged that the proposal, which has been floated by some Democrats in recent weeks, sounds appealing in theory, but she argued that it doesn't help consumers much in the long term since oil companies are not required to pass on the savings. And jumping down, just a quick recap, the pro is very showbiz. Okay, let's just do something. There it is. But it is not necessarily landing in the pockets of consumers. How do we help people directly? If you're going to have to pay for it and you don't want it to come out of a trust fund, well, something could be a rebate card or direct payments. And those are the things that are being considered right now, we heard Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi say. So as I mentioned to you guys, gas stimulus checks, they are back. They're back on the table being considered and we're gonna be seeing what Congress comes up with. And those of you that follow me here on the channel know we've been seeing bills released from Congress to provide gas stimulus checks on a federal level. And here's an update on one of them, you guys. On March 17th, Representatives Mike Thompson, John Larson, and Lauren Underwood introduced the Gas Rebate Act of 2022. Now, while it's in its early stages, the act would send energy rebate payments of $100 per month to eligible taxpayers and offer an additional $100 per dependent. So essentially, a household of four would receive $400 per month with this bill. And it says it's currently, payment eligibility is gonna be structured similarly to previous stimulus checks. Married filers filing jointly with an income of 150,000 or less would get the full payment. Single filers up to 75,000 or less would get the full payment with phase out levels for higher incomes. And the legislation needs to make its way through Congress before payments can begin. And that is one of four that is currently being proposed. We've even heard quarterly $300 checks, monthly $300 checks to households, and also a one-time payment of $500. And those are the four currently on the table. So you guys, that is the latest on federal gas stimulus checks. Getting support from Nancy Pelosi and congressional leaders, more bills coming out. And I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel as it's looking like gas prices are not gonna be going down anytime soon. More support is coming out and we will see as this is also a midterm election year where Democrats who are in full control of Congress are gonna wanna remain in control and it's very likely to persuade voters. We're gonna be seeing more legislation for stimulus coming out and I'll keep you up to date here on the channel. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps out my channel a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out if you think it's gonna help out other people. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, totally free to do so. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to stay notified 
website. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3 and consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.